Overseas now and late word tonight that ceasefire talks are set to resume tomorrow between Hamas and Israel. This is President Biden faces criticism for continuing to send billions of dollars in bombs and fighter jets to Israel as part of a longstanding agreement. And as a three ship convoy heads to Gaza to deliver food and other supplies amid concerns of starvation in the region. ABC's Britt Clenet in Tel Aviv tonight. Tonight, the Biden administration sending a new round of weapons for Israel, despite a rift over an anticipated military offensive in southern Gaza. President Biden reportedly greenlighting billions of dollars worth of weapons as part of a long-standing agreement. The Washington Post reporting that the new arms transfer include 2,000-pound bombs linked to air attacks in Gaza, causing mass casualties. Some Democrats had been urging Biden to halt U.S. military support until Israel allows the delivery of desperately needed aid into Gaza, where the U.N. warns famine is imminent. It comes as a convoy of aid ships set sail today for Gaza, carrying 400 tons of food. UNICEF spokesperson James Elder speaking to me by phone, saying not nearly enough aid is getting in. Malnutrition ward, like children that are paper thin, yeah, mothers and grandmothers, and they are standing over these desperately emaciated children. Yet there is a crossing 10, 15 minutes away. This is what's so frustrating. On the streets of Gaza, children sell whatever they can to stave off hunger. Mohammed saying he's trying to make money so my brothers and I can eat. Speaking from a makeshift camp in Rafa, Nima Asho's family are among the 1.3 million displaced people who could be evacuated if there is an Israeli land invasion, the city already facing Israeli bombardment. You don't know when you are going to be attacked. Our neighbors have been killed. They were sleeping peacefully and they were killed. So we each night we think we might be the next. Mary, Israel says its goal is to destroy Hamas's capabilities and we're told a delegation will leave for Cairo tomorrow for talks with Hamas again about releasing those hostages and a ceasefire. Mary. All eyes will be on those talks. Britt, thank you. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.